So we're at the, the pier to get the ferry over to Cocod. There's a car park here and there's play, look at that. Very oh, chilly, yes. very chilly. It is quite chilly over here at the minute. <laughs> but yeah, we, we parked the car 50 baht a day and it's undercover. You may come early and then we get back for 50 baht, 50 baht. Okay, so, so anyway, we're here. About another half an hour away for the ferry, for the fast ferry, 10.30 or 10.45 and away we go to Kokud. Bit of a breezy day. So we're on the ferry now, we're going to Kokud. Boys. I'm always a little bit scared because it's, it's a little bit windy in here, so we're on the middle of So 600 baht each to Kokud from uh, the, the mainland, and it's 50 baht a day to park your car in the car park. So undercover, here we go. So this is the view from our hotel room. So it's very basic. We're at the end of the day for 800 baht during the Christmas and New Year period. You know, what can you expect really? But the room's big enough, air conditioning, the bed's comfortable, there's places to hang your clothes. The bathroom's okay, it's very spotlessly clean. And uh, shower, all, everything works properly. And as I say, this is the view that you wake up every morning. This is why we booked this place. And we knew it was quite away from the town. But at the end of the day, sat out on our veranda, overlooking that for 800 baht a day. Okay, where you go? So my point of view of Osalat in Kokud where we've stayed. Nice resort. This is what for me is the best part of it. If you stay on the front part of these houses, you get the view. But if you stay on the other cheaper houses, sort of back there a little bit, you don't get the view. So if you're going to book the Osalat, I'd go for the, pay a little bit extra for the scenic views because I've sat here on this veranda every morning for three mornings and watched the world come alive with the fishing boats going out and it's lovely. So the room is comfortable, the air conditioning is good and I've got to say but you're a long, long way from anywhere. And if you stay at this resort, you need transport. You need to be able to ride a motorbike because you're 15, 20 minutes away from the city centre. So that's where we're moving to next, is the city centre, because it's closer to everywhere. And um, okay, it's a little bit more money, but that's what you pay, pay, pay for convenience. So if you wanted to catch a taxi from here everywhere, then you're looking at 500 baht per trip. 
to go into the town and, and come back. So that all adds up to your budget for your holiday, whereas you might as well spend that little bit more money and get somewhere close to the town centre. Um, motorbike rental from here is 250 baht a day, so again, if you for a week, that, that'll all add to the cost as well. And I've got to say, Kokud, it's quite a big island, but there's a lot of walking in between one place and the next. So again, I've seen people walking and they, they have to walk for miles to get to the, either the next resort or something to eat and things like that. So Kokud, as nice as it is, it has its problems and if you can't ride a motorbike it's going to be expensive to get around everywhere by taxi so that's my view on or where we stay and onwards to the next one <laughs>